and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, I'm going to talk about core, or also known as cocoa core. You may have heard about it, may have wondered what it is, if you don't already know. And what it is, it's a material made from coconut husks. So uh, it's a very good material to make potting soils for potting soils. It uh, has a lot of good benefits to it. It improves water holding capacity because it acts as a sponge to hold water in the root zone so that plants can use it when they need it. <clears throat> it has um, a, a, a better water, water, water holding capacity than most soil amendments. It can actually hold seven to 10 times its weight in water. At the same time that it holds onto water, it will actually get rid of excess water so that your plants don't become waterlogged. So that's really important. It is often used as a substitute for peat moss. So cocoa core, how let me tell you a little bit about how it's made and then we're going to cut into one of these and i'll show you how you prepare it for use so coconut husk is very beneficial as we're finding out here it's it's also used in textiles to make ropes and to make things like uh, coconut fiber pots and it can be ground down to really fine particles, which aren't used in the textiles, but they're used in to make cocoa bricks like this for a coconut core to use in potting soils. The core is the name given to the fibrous material that constitutes the thick mesocarp, so the middle layer of the coconut fruit. The husk of the coconut can be, contains approximately 75% fiber and 25% fine material. So um, that the husks are often soaked in water to soften them and then that facilitates the grinding. When the coconut husks are being processed, the cocoa dust is separated from the fiber. So the long fibers of co the core extracted from the coconut husk are used in, for industrial things, industrial, industrial products, mats, ropes, etc. And then the dust before the 1980s, the dust was actually just left behind and it is accumulated as a waste product. But back in the 1980s and late 1980s, they started using it as a growing medium and it really took off from there. So uh, a lot of times the, uh, it, it may, be, may be kind of composted for a while before it is, is, is put into use. Uh, so the prior to the use, the, the blocks uh, of compressed treated core are broken apart, moistened, and fertilized, as I, as, I, as I mentioned. So we are going to do that um, in a, a moment here. And I'll show you how you use it so that you can then add it to your potting soils. Uh, and I will also be sh not too long from now showing you how to make your own potting mix, which is a really good one for indoor use. And you can add core to that as well. So it's, re it's a really good amendment as mentioned. And it's also pretty sustainable because there's a lot of coconuts and it's easy to grow coconuts. And then uh, it's a really good use of all of the coconut parts as well. So what you want to do when you, you, you will get the core in this form, generally. It also does come in bags already ready to use. Uh, there's some brands like Just Core and Coco Loco, or you can get the bricks, which actually are a little uh, more uh, e economical. It's a little more work to prepare it, but they're pretty economical. To this, this, to this brick, we would add five um, five, uh, five ounces, um, of, uh, of, um, of water <laughs> to get this to, um, th actually the five quarts. I knew I was, that didn't sound right. Five quarts would be added to make this whole thing. I have two quarts of water here. I'm going to, I'm going to cut this in a little less than half, somewhere between half 
and um, a third ish to use this two these two quarts of water and I don't need that much core right now so that's the nice thing about these you can save part of it it's really nice too if you're in a, in a small space like apartment or something and you don't want to uh, be uh, storing a lot of potting soil this is a great alternative as well you will have to mix other things into this to use it as potting soil but it, it's but it's but it as you can see it's nice and small so you could get smaller bags of some of the other stuff that you would need so I'm going to figure out about right here is where I want to cut a little less than half now it takes a bit of muscle here <laughs> to cut it I'll have to say it isn't always the fastest job so I may turn off the camera so you don't see me sweating and dying here trying to cut into this guy so that's what I'm going to do and I will be back with this cut off okay I'm back and I just had a really good workout <laughs> so um, I actually had another piece that I had cut before that didn't need quite as much cutting so this one I left intact and I will <laughs> most likely just put this one in the correct amount of water and use the whole brick at once in the future so it, if I'm gonna have to see if they have smaller I would think that they have ones that are in smaller um, uh, smaller packaging smaller pieces so I'll put various links below for you anyway this is about the size that we wanted and I did cut through this part I ended up using a serrated really heavy-duty knife I would say if you are handy with power tools then pull them out and use them I am not so you're not gonna see me whipping out any power tools <laughs> on my channel here uh, but I'm really good at growing plants though so um, but the uh, power tools not so much is my for not so much my forte I have other people do that so the uh, this is a good size and one thing to consider is that your core uh, when you add water to it it's going to expand to seven times the size of what it is so you can see here this is seven times will work but if I had put this whole thing in here it would be overflowing right so I'm putting the core in there I've got this spoon to help break it up some I'm going to add the two quarts of water here uh, into the core and this is warmish water uh, the warmer it is the faster it'll go so you just add the water simply add it I'll move it over you can see what's going on move that plant over there so you can see what's happening here okay now it doesn't do a whole lot at first at first you kind of remember the first time I used it years ago I kind I thought uh, yeah okay what am I gonna do with this blob of stuff but it actually does after a while start breaking up you can break it up there you can use a like a, um, a, a garden fork kind of a thing you can use you could I could have brought the knife back but I was kind of tired of looking at that after all that sawing and uh, so you you want to let it and a lot of times it's bad the easiest thing to do is just let it soak for a while if it's it's really buoyant like this one is you can weigh it down uh, that helps too so it will start breaking up and believe it or not it will fill and and consume this water so what I'm gonna do is I am going to let it soak and then we will come back when it started to break up more and break it up some more and show you what it looks like when it's all ready ready to use so we will see you in a bit okay we are back actually let this sit overnight so you can see now that we have a lot of core in here and I actually ended up adding more of the core to this because despite the instructions it did it didn't it was still pretty soupy so I added more so I made more so you can see here uh, the little strands coming out of that there that is the 
the coconut core in there so you can see it really nicely and nice big close up here for you so you can see that 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 is uh, and it's still moist so I may add even a little bit more of it but there are also some pieces in here that are still big chunks so you have to kind of work with it for a while work it work on it until it becomes the good consistency that you want obviously with no clumps in it I was stabbing it with the knife a bit to break up some of the clumps that were still in there from um, from soaking as well so you do need to soak it for a while I uh, got on to other videos and and then it was late so then I thought oh, I'll just let it continue to soak because it even after a couple hours it was still get moistening so probably I wouldn't suggest trying to use this in a half an hour um, unless you've got a really small amount uh, so you're gonna you're gonna have to give it some time so there you go with coconut core what it is and how to prepare the bricks for use and this once it soaks up a little bit more then it will be moist but not soggy but I may want to before I even use it I'll let it dry out unless I add some more to it so I don't have a so it's not so it's moist but it's not real soggy and it still is a bit but you get, a, get the idea here of what it looks like when it's made. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.